Hey guys, this is MacHeads101 with the video on Apple's latest announced operating system, OS X Mountain Lion. So the first significant change that they've made is they've dropped the Mac from the name. So it is no longer called Mac OS X, it is just called OS X. So interpret that how you want, but that is a big change in my opinion. Um, so with OS X Mountain Lion, Apple is introducing a lot of new features that pretty much already existed in iOS. And these features include stuff like the Notes app, stuff like the Reminders app, Game Center. Um, you know, they've got the Notification Center right here, as you can see. Uh, it'll be on the left side of your Mac if you pull it down, I assume. Um, so it's very similar to the Notification Center on iOS. And I think it'll actually be very useful. It might even replace apps like Growl, stuff like that. Um, so that could be actually pretty pretty useful and I'm excited about that usually I kind of look down on you know they're trying to put iOS in Mac that just doesn't work but in this case I think it's a good idea um, another thing they're doing is making a new app called messages this will essentially replace iChat and it'll have iMessage built into it so it'll have the iMessage UI it'll be able to send messages through iMessage but it'll also have iChat protocols such as like AIM, Jabber, uh, Google Chat, all those different things will be incorporated into it. So it won't just be iMessage, it'll have new things. And one of the neat things about this is they're actually releasing a beta for Lion. So you can download this right on their site. I'll probably have a link in the description to download that, but you can just go right ahead and try out the new Messages app, just like they released a preview of the Mac App Store. In Snow Leopard, they're doing the same thing here. Um, so I think that's pretty nice. They've also got some new iCloud features. So mail will sync up more, FaceTime will do whatever, there's going to be iCloud documents. Um, I'm not really that interested in iCloud, I don't really use iCloud, but um, you can certainly look into that. Uh, so there's obviously going to be new developments revolving around that. Um, one of the other new features in this that they've had dangling around in iOS for a while is Twitter integration. So in this new operating system, a lot of apps will now have Twitter built into them. Their example is Safari. You'll be able to just click something and share the website you're on and write a message and it'll tweet it out. Um, so that is actually uh, nice in my opinion that they make it more convenient. I know a lot of sites already have buttons for sharing things on Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff. Um, but this will still be a nice touch. Social network integration is always an interesting thing to see happen. Um, and one of the other major things that I want to talk about is Gatekeeper. Uh, Gatekeeper is their new security. Uh, it's basically just a name for their security. Most of the security features have already been in Mac OS X, like locking the screen when you sleep your computer, firewall, stuff like that. But now there's some new stuff and one of the major things about Gatekeeper that I personally don't like that much, but that I think is actually an interesting thing that they did is it will filter applications. So you can set up different settings and by default, it'll only let you run applications from the Mac App Store. So this is a security precaution, right? You download a virus from online, it's not gonna let you open it because it's not from the Mac App Store. Um, you can also allow any app to be opened if it's identified and that means that essentially a Mac developer has signed this thing and now Apple will be able to flag that developer and then nothing that they make will be available or won't work with this option anymore so um, essentially it's a blacklist of applications that's essentially what they're doing and uh, I think that's actually pretty pretty neat uh, unfortunately, if you don't want to be a part of the Apple developer scene, but you still want to make Mac apps, that's going to be kind of a problem. But there is also a setting to just let you open any app from anywhere. And I'm probably going to use that setting. I know a lot of people will, but I also know a lot of people won't. And it kind of, you know, it's kind of saddening. Um, anyway, that is Gatekeeper. And another big thing that isn't really significant to me too much, but it is going to make this operating system pull in some new revenue, uh, new audience, is China integration. You know, there are all new features just for China. 
So they've added new Chinese input methods. Um, they have some new built-in services for searching, like Chinese search engines, Chinese text, you know, instant messenger protocols, all that different stuff. Um, you know, as I said, this doesn't really affect me or anyone I know that significantly, but a lot of people will definitely appreciate this. And I'm sure Apple will get some extra revenue out of it as well. So anyway, those are some of the latest features of a li of uh, the new operating system that has been released, OS X Mountain Lion. Um, you can check out the full story on Apple.com, and maybe I'll have a link in the description to some Mac Rumors articles, some stuff like that, um, to check it out. Uh, you can, of course, download the iMessages beta. I have. I haven't installed it yet, but I will shortly, and uh, you'll probably want to try that out. So all these links will be in the description. I uh, hope you appreciate this video. Uh, if you do, go ahead, like it, subscribe, anything you want. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.